All right, Jamie in Michigan, you're up. Hi, Zion. Great to meet you. You, yep, I, I echo everybody. You're amazing. Um, I've, I've interviewed several people, a uh, couple mm -hmm. people on this call about resilience. Um, and so, you know, we've talked about your attitude. We've talked about things that change your life. But from what you're, what I'm hearing, you were resilient long before you met your coach, long before your mom came into your life. What, what do you attribute your resilience to? Uh, you know, I, I remember, I just learned earlier in life that like, you know, people don't like, it's like, it's going to be really blunt as a kid. I was like, people don't care. So F it, I'm going to just do what I do, you know, but as I got older, I realized that even if people don't care, I still got to just push forward, find what makes me happy. And I knew the one thing I could, one thing I had a firm grasp on was the sport of wrestling. You know, there I felt like I had a family. There I felt like I had parental figures. I, there I learned more life skills than I learned pretty, pretty much anywhere else. You know, and there's a saying, once you've wrestled, everything else in life becomes easy. And I kind of believe that. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's to build that resilience. Uh, being an athlete helps you control your emotions. Uh, if you have a, if you have a good coach and it helps you build that, 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 ironclad mentality of you're going to get stuff done and you're not going to let nothing get in your way because you got to think about it, in a fight you know you can't lean uh you can't lean on anybody else's help of yours you have a support system but when it comes when it comes time to do the actual work you can't be like time out like let me go let me go ask my homie over here no you got to get it done and so having been in hundreds of wrestling matches and grappling matches and now mma fights uh, you know, I just say built that mentality of if it doesn't go my way, I'm gonna try again. If it doesn't work that time, I'm gonna try again. And I'm just gonna keep working on it until I get it right. So I think you I think you were born with that resilient attitude. It sounds like like I said, you had you had a lot of things to overcome even before that coach. That's a yeah. Oh no, I well, they I was experiencing I was experiencing a lot of that stuff going through the system. You know, I started wrestling when I was seven years old. You um, know. Yeah. So every time I moved schools, like for some reason, the only thing I could do would be, I would be allowed to go wrestling practice, but like, that's it. So um, I took advantage of that, you know, and, you know, as a kid, you, I learned how to keep, keep my emotions under control. You know, don't get me wrong. I had problems growing up fighting, but as I got older, I've, I learned more control because I was working harder. And each year you have to work harder and harder and harder and harder, especially if you want to be a great, if you want to be a great athlete. But now I, I found out that it wasn't just for that, but to be an outstanding human being too. Well, you, you certainly are. And I'll, uh, I'll reach out too for some speaking engagements with Absolutely. some disabled vets. I think you'd be a fantastic keynote for disabled vets. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.